In the sacred forest, Alicia, a beautiful and skilled warrior, lived a life of tranquility. As the village's protector, she was revered by its people. All seemed peaceful in her world. As she moved through the village, children played in the fields, and elders shared stories of the old times by the fire. The sound of birds singing filled the air, and the rustle of the wind in the leaves created a calming melody. Life here felt timeless, and Alicia had grown accustomed to its steady rhythm. Yet, Alicia carried a hidden burden. Mysterious darkness began to appear in her dreams, urging her to search for something of great importance. It felt as though this was a destiny that could affect not only her village but the entire world. In her sleep, the dreams came again. A swirling blackness, accompanied by whispers of doom and a figure cloaked in shadow standing atop a hill. Each night the dreams grew clearer, the shadow drawing nearer. Alicia woke, her heart pounding, but the message remained elusive. She had to seek the truth behind these visions. Following the guidance of her dreams, Alicia ventured to a sacred spring deep within the forest. Their ancient spirits spoke to her, revealing her fate. They warned that the Dark King was rising again, intending to engulf the world in shadow. Determined, Alicia set out on a journey to stop the looming darkness. The spirits' voices were ancient and soft, like the whisper of the wind through the trees. Their warnings were grave, the world will fall, and none shall escape unless you act, Alicia. The weight of their words pressed upon her, yet she felt a deep resolve build within. Her journey had begun. Alicia left the comfort of her forest and stepped into the vast, unknown world beyond. She crossed towering mountains and explored ancient ruins, where she learned of the legendary light stone, said to be the key to sealing the Dark King. Along the way, she encountered travelers each with stories of the growing shadow. Some were hopeful, believing the legends of a hero. Others spoke in fear of villages already swallowed by darkness. The ruins she explored were silent, their forgotten histories etched in stone, and there she found clues to her next destination, the land where the light stone was hidden. Along her journey, Alicia faced two paths, a treacherous cave in the mountains or a swamp infested with terrifying beasts. Refusing to shy away from danger, she chose the path through the deadly swamp. The cave offered a chance of safety, but something called to her from the swamp a feeling she couldn't shake, as though the answers lay within its murky depths. She stepped into the mire, the air thick with mist, each step a battle against the muck and the lurking dangers that watched her from the shadows. In the swamp, Alicia confronted a fearsome creature, Gradion. She fought a fierce battle, testing her strength to its limit. Though she emerged victorious, she paid a heavy price. Gradian's strike left her with an injured arm, robbing her of its use. As the battle raged, Alicia used every ounce of her skill, but Gradion was relentless, its roar shaking the very oath. Her final strike felled the beast, but as she collapsed, she knew her strength had come at a grave cost. Her arm was numb, and she could no longer grip her sword as she once had. With one arm lost, Alicia felt the weight of her weakness and was overwhelmed with despair. She considered returning to her village for aid, but upon arrival, she found it devastated her home had fallen to the forces of darkness. She knelt among the ruins of her village, the once vibrant homes now charred and broken. The people she had sworn to protect were gone, their fates unknown. Despair clutched her heart, and for a moment, Alicia wondered if the spirits had been wrong if perhaps, the darkness could not be stopped. Seeing the destruction of her village reignited Alicia's resolve. Though she had lost much, she knew that there was still much more to protect. In exchange for her lost arm, she received a mystical artifact, the Bracelet of Light, which granted her new power. She stood before the altar, where the spirits returned once more, offering her a gift, the Bracelet of Light. The bracelet shimmered, and as she placed it on her wrist, power surged through her body. Her injured arm moved again, not in flesh, but with the radiant strength of light itself. Her journey was far from over. Alicia regained her strength and with the help of newfound allies, prepared to face the Dark King. She performed a ritual to unlock the power of the Light Stone, but during the process, she realized that a former friend had fallen under the Dark King's influence. The ritual was not without its challenges. The Light Stone responded to her presence, 
its energy awakening after centuries of dormancy. But the discovery of her friend's corruption shocked her. Once a noble warrior by her side, now he served the darkness, his soul twisted by the Dark King's influence. The reunion with her friend, now corrupted by darkness, tore Alicia's heart. Torn between saving him and facing the grim reality that he might need to be defeated, Alicia struggled with the weight of her choices. Their battle was inevitable. They met on the battlefield, his eyes once kind now cold and unfeeling. This is not who you are, she pleaded, but the darkness had claimed him, his attacks were ruthless, leaving Alicia no choice but to defend herself. Every strike felt like a betrayal, but she knew the fight was inevitable. In the heat of battle, Alicia came to the painful realization that she could not save her friend. With tears in her eyes, she made the heartbreaking choice to end his suffering. Her resolve now strengthened. She prepared for the final confrontation with the Dark King. His final words were a whisper, barely audible. Forgive me. Alicia stood over his fallen form, her heart heavy with sorrow. But she knew she could not waver now. The Dark King awaited, and the fate of the world hung in the balance. Alicia reached the Dark King's castle and entered its shadow-filled depths. In the heart of his lair, they faced off in a brutal confrontation. The Dark King tried to manipulate the darkness within her, but Alicia unleashed her inner light and struck him down. His throne room was a place of nightmares, shadows swirling in the air, the walls pulsating with dark magic. The Dark King mocked her, calling her weak, but Alicia stood firm. Her light pierced through the darkness, and with a mighty strike, she shattered his power, banishing him from the world. With the Dark King defeated, Alicia restored light to the world. But the victory came at great cost. She had lost much, and she herself was deeply scarred. In the quiet aftermath, she realized that this victory was only the beginning of her next journey. The castle crumbled around her, but Alicia did not flee. She walked through the ruins, her heart heavy. The darkness had been vanquished, but it had left its mark. She knew now that peace was fleeting, and her role as protector would never truly end. Alicia returned to her village, bringing peace, though much of the village lay in ruins. She vowed to rebuild, rising as a new leader to protect and guide her people. The villagers slowly returned, rebuilding what had been lost. Alicia walked among them, offering her help, her guidance. She was no longer just their warrior. She was their leader, their protector in every sense of the word. As the village was rebuilt, Alicia found a new sense of purpose. No longer just a warrior, she became the village's guardian and protector, watching over the people with wisdom and strength gained from her journey. Though she had lost much, she gained even more. She sat by the river one morning, watching the sunrise, the light shimmering across the water. Her heart was still, and for the first time in a long while, she felt at peace. The weight of her past was still there, but it no longer held her down. Alicia returned to a life of peace, but she was not the same. She now knew the true dangers of the world and carried within her the resolve to rise again should darkness ever return. The circle of her journey had closed, and she stood ready for whatever fate had in store.